everybody, welcome to an Epic Money of Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we got some brand new WWE action figures to show off, some brand new customs, some good things, and some things that I wanted to describe to you guys and show off to you. So we got some pretty cool stuff going on today. Kind of a My Damn Haul slash custom video slash fart in a bag that we're going to get into and some customs I've been working on here. So let's go ahead and dive straight into it, guys. So as you guys can see, we have a lineup right here. Um, not all of these are done. I'm still working on getting some other pieces for these, which I will explain and I'll showcase and all of that good stuff stuff, but let's go ahead and dive into the big things, and the big things have to be these torso swaps that I did last night, and I'm not going to lie to you, Brad, when I put the damn, so what I do, I'll, I'll go through the torso cracking process for you, I'm not going to show it to you, I've done it in the, in the past on the channel, you can go look at some action figure surgery videos, I don't know the exact episode numbers, but it's where we go to the kitchen and we do some torso cracking, but you guys can see here we have Edge that we did torso crack, we also have The Rock right here, and we also did Shad Gable over here, so the, t the torso cracking process as I typically go to the kitchen, I have a standard cup. You can take a glass cup. I don't recommend plastic. I would say a glass cup. Get a damn towel, though, because you'll burn your freaking face off. Get a towel. Get a glass of water. Put it in the microwave for five minutes. You know, fill it up pretty good. After five minutes, it should be boiling. You're going to use your towel to hold the damn glass, taking it out of the microwave. Set it on the countertop. Put your figure in there head first like this up to at least the waist or the crotch piece. Let that sit in there for another two to three minutes. Pull it out by the foot, put it on the damn towel, pat off the towel with the figure, like multiple times, turn it upside down, shake it, get all the extra water out of there because it will burn you like hell. If you're underage, I'd say if you're under the age of 16, Brad, I'd get an adult to help you with it just to make sure. Even though if I was 14 or 13, uh, you, you best believe I'm doing that shit myself. Anyways, I did that with all three of these figures here, guys, and you guys can see, first up, we do have the Shorty G slash Chad Gable. It's more of an updated, I got this idea from my boy Fig Skip Customs. He used the, uh, uh, what was it, the Elite 59? I think it was Elite 59. It may have been Elite 60 Chad Gable, but I went with the TNF version. You guys can see I put a Seth Rollins torso on it with the old school head sculpt. I need the Shorty G head sculpt. That is what I need. The Shorty G head sculpt would make this thing look phenomenal. It would look absolutely perfect. So I am waiting to get one of those. I, uh, I haven't seen it on Amazon. I think it's on Ringside Collectibles. I'll have to double check that one, but it's not on eBay anywhere. I can't find it on Amazon, so I'll probably order it from Ringside if they have it in stock. But they there is the Chad Gable. I really like this torso. I think it looks great, but with that updated short-haired head sculpt, it looks even better, but I still think it looks all right. I like the legs and everything. It's, it's super tight. It's got the, uh, it doesn't have any gaps in it or anything. It feels really good. It feels like this came out of the package this way, so I'm pretty proud of that swap right here. Next up, guys, is going to be Edge. Now, Edge, uh, yeah, look at this guy. I put the WrestleMania Elite Edge head sculpt on my Elite 1 because I used to have this fix-up over here with this pissed-off Edge head sculpt, which I think this is the best Edge head sculpt you can actually buy buy from Mattel. I think this is the best one they've ever made. This one is the WrestleMania switched over to the Elite One. This is my pissed off head sculpt. I switched the torso with the WrestleMania Elite figure. You guys know it had the Stone Cold Steve Austin torso. It was super loosey goosey and everything like that. I switched out the torso for an Arn Anderson torso. You guys can see the little chest hair here. It looks really really good and the freaking entrance coat or the worker man's jacket or the collar shirt or whatever you want to call this with the G on the name tag looks really good on this Edge figure. I think it looks phenomenal. This is how this figure should have came. Look at the head sculpt. It looks much better. The torso is much better in proportion. Uh, this is great. This figure actually looks really, really damn good now. And if you're going to buy that figure, I recommend doing this fix up very much. I definitely highly recommend it. You can use a Terry Funk torso. You can use an Arn Anderson. I kind of wanted the little bitty chest hairs on there. Kind of ties in a little bit. So I went with the Arn Anderson. You might could use a Tully Blanchard. I think it has the same skin tone. It just has some gray chest hair instead of the, you know, this darker brown or this blondish looking hair that matches his beard. That's why I went with the Arn Anderson. This head sculpt just isn't good. I think that if you painted it, maybe it would look better, but this edge figure looks a million times better after doing that torso swap. So there's our Chad Gable and our edge. We also did the rock, guys. We actually did the rock one as well. This head sculpt actually looks good on this, and to be honest with you, I thought you would be able to notice way more with this shirt on here. Maybe that's why Mattel decided not to put the big torso on there, and his waist is not the tightest. It's not super duper loose, but it is a little bit loose and you guys can see I did put the bigger torso on it but you can't even really tell can you I mean like it I don't know you might be able to tell if I had the other one next to it side by side you may be able to tell but I don't know I don't think it looks bad whatsoever it looks good it looks good on the figure see it looks pretty good shirtless but when you put the shirt on there can you even tell can you even see the difference really I don't know and th I feel like this torso makes this head sculpt look better am, am I tripping I feel like I'm tripping or something this torso this bigger jack torso with the 
updated tattoo and arms and everything makes this head sculpt from the Elite 81 look better. And I don't, I don't know what that's about. But again, I, I know I mentioned in yesterday's video, don't put the Elite 81 or the WrestleMania Elite Edge on your uh, on your Christmas list. Don't include the Elite 81 Rock. But after doing these fix-ups, it looks a ton better, and it may be something you want to look into. Now, I said I would I would definitely wait till the Black Friday sale unless you guys are just massive Rock or Edge fans or you've been wanting those figures in your collection. Then go ahead and grab them. But yeah, I, I like this a lot. Again, the head sculpt looks better than it did. I, I don't know. I could be tripping again, but let me know what you guys think about that. There's the Rock. There's Edge. And then we have two more figures, or three, I guess, technically. But you guys know the other day we did do the fix-up for the uh, the Finn Balor, right, on Action Figure Surgery. Oh my god in heaven. So the other day on Action Figure Surgery, we did do the sleeve swap with Finn Balor to give him the full black sleeve. Well, the reason that I wanted to buy multiples of this figure and the reason that I have this John Wick, you're probably like, why the hell do you have a John Wick figure? Well, Brad, I was out of town. I was shopping the other day and I came across this, this Diamond Select John Wick figure and when I saw it, I was like, oh my god, a black suit? That would look really sick for a picture. I know it won't look good as a standalone figure, but how sick would it be to take the Finn Balor Elite 82 head sculpt, put it on this John Wick body, and then sit him down and do like a really good shot? I actually tested it with the Smiley Finn head sculpt, the one that we ended up putting on the Ultimate Warrior over here, this head sculpt right here, this figure. I had an extra one of these. I just sat it on there. I didn't plop it on the actual peg, but I popped off this head and then just sat the head sculpt on there, and it totally works. So if I take off this Elite 82, put it on the John Wick body, and then do some photo editing with the neck color and stuff like that, and then just sit him there or put like a gun in his hand and do something like this. It'd make for a really sick Instagram shot or like a really cool edit and maybe Finn Balor would repost it or something on his Instagram. I'm not exactly sure. He's done it before. He actually did it the other day and I was marking the hell out. I need to do a story time on that, but I think it's something that I definitely need to do and I'll probably do that later on in the week, but I think it would look really badassery. So I'm going to play around with that, but I wanted to show off the accessories to this John Wick because it's really, really badass. So first of all, you do get the dog accessory. I haven't seen any of the John Wick films, and I love Keanu Reeves, but I haven't seen any of the John Wick films, and I think this is from the second one, but here is his dog. He also comes with a utility belt, so you have the utility belt right there. It straps on like a WWE championship. It's kind of big on a WWE figure. I put it on a couple, and it was kind of falling off, so that's kind of shitty, but it also comes with interchangeable hands. You have like this coin-holding hand. You also get this fist that comes with a pencil from some iconic scene from the movie, and then he also comes with this like medallion, and I'm not sure if, the, I think this like like pops off or something, but I almost tore my damn fingernail off trying to get this loose, and I've heard that it does come off, but I, I don't know what's going on with it, but I thought it was a display stand, but I don't think that's the case, but it also comes with that little medallion. You also have, uh, it may be also a, like a large replica of the coins, because he also comes with some tiny coins that I'm going to totally lose if I'm not careful, but he comes with like a stack of coins, and then, you won't believe this, but he comes with like a single coin right here, so oh my, it gone forever. So he comes with a little coin there. He also comes with some guns, so I think he has like an AR right here. He's got a nice assault rifle, which you love to see with the nice scope on there. He also It also comes with an extra magazine, and I thought the magazine went into the gun, but I guess it doesn't. But he comes with the AR. He also comes with three different pistols, maybe four different pistols, and they actually can go down in the utility belt, so he's got two pistols here. He also comes with an extra pistol here in the smaller size, and then he also comes with two different mags, or clips, if you will, so he's got the two clips there. And then probably my favorite accessory, which is also a reason why I bought this, is this little mini box. And this mini box could go inside the GM's office of Vindication, and it comes with a gun inside and two clip holders. So this can go in the Vindication office, and the gun actually does get removed. So that's a pretty cool accessory for, for this. This could go into a lot of different collections. You could do some really creative stuff with this in other collections that you may start with your action figures, but I thought this was an excellent little accessory, and this is definitely going to go in the GM's office. I don't know if I'll keep the guns in there, but it's a great display case over there, and it'll sit in the office on the shelf or something, and that'll be really badassery, but if you guys want to see what the gun looked like in the hand, of course you do have the, uh, you know, the finger, the actual like shooter hand for Finn Balor, but then you also have the, uh, you know, you could, you could hold the gun with this hand, or you can hold the other gun. It's not holding it, but you guys get the idea. There you go. Finn Balor can hold the pistol right there, so that looks pretty damn epic. So yeah, I plan on doing some cool Bullet Club style shot with the Finn Balor and the suited John Wick body. And the last custom, you're probably wondering what the hell this guy over here is doing. This is actually a work in progress Zack Sabre Jr. So I was working on this Zack Sabre Jr. And this is actually a commission piece. So here's Zack Sabre Jr. It's in his new Japan World Cup attire. So you got the ZSJ. You got the flag design. You got the bar 
across the back and on the back you have the more logos here and then he just has standard black kick pads not the greatest attire ever but it is pretty solid pretty cool moment he's got the white wrist tape and then for the Zack Sabre Jr. head sculpt I went with this Cody head sculpt but I'm also in the in the process of changing it up so I've already done a pretty good amount of work to it so I repainted the eyes I went ahead and removed the hair on the sides and back I'm gonna repaint the full hair here I'm gonna add uh, like a stubble effect I'm gonna paint the lips probably and I don't know if you guys can see but I added the butt chin there I went ahead and like modified the chin I modified the cheeks to give it more of that Zack Sabre Jr. sculpt and I think when I repaint the hair add the little five o'clock shadow add the lip color add the hair fade and everything I think it's gonna look pretty damn good and then once we do all that and then put this head sculpt on this body I think we will have a pretty solid Zack Sabre Jr. elite action figure for the customer but I think that pretty much does it for the video guys I wanted to showcase all of that John Wick stuff all the accessories and everything like that what do you guys think about the Finn Balor post I think that'll be pretty damn good unfortunately he does tower over so that's why I say he's gonna have to be like you know you put the it's not gonna be able to fit into the collection without some serious modification but I like the slim suit body mold like this is the kind of suit that we need for Mattel man you see how nicely slim this is and it fits to the figure we need that for our WWE figures unfortunately he's just way too damn tall Brad but anyways guys before we get out of here let's go ahead and get into our random shout out so this shout out is gonna go to Josh Rodriguez he says that WWE Wrestlemania elite figure Edge's face looks like the lead singer of Puddle of Mud rock band and he's actually correct especially back in the day I can actually see it I can absolutely see that that's actually pretty funny it's definitely got the likeness to him and the, the facial expression is pretty funny there but huge shout out to Josh for that comment I thought that was pretty good but I think I'm gonna get the hell out of here guys thank you so very much for watching I hope you guys did enjoy subscribe to the channel follow me on Instagram and Twitter at my damn toys and I'll see you guys in the next video thank you Thank you.